Guys, I wish you could see my bedroom right now. It legit looks like a porn studio. <laughs> I swear, if I didn't share my bedroom with my partner, I'd probably keep my setup like this. Like, how relaxed does this look? I am legit sitting on my bed. I have a light here, I have a light here, my camera's there. Over in the corner over there is my normal backdrop with my ring light, but I just wanted to keep it low key today. Don't worry, I am going to zoom in. So, uh, <laughs> look, I'm just chilling. I have had a pretty chill day. I just went out for lunch with my best friend and um, it was a really, really interesting, fun day. So, um, this is not the video that I intended on um, recording for you guys. I've been waiting for... Well, I'm going on actually over two weeks now. I I made an order with a company, which I'm not going to name it because you know what, things like this happen, things get caught up, whatever, you know how it goes. That's the the uh, beast of um, ordering online, right? It's just one of those things. And um, it's two weeks later and it still hasn't made it out of the warehouse. And uh, you guys know that, well, anyone who's following me knows that I want to do a lip swatch video of all the current lipsticks I have at the moment, which I think the last time I counted was 21 lipsticks. And I've got two Jeffree Star liquid lips coming, which I'm really friggin' excited about. And um, I wanted to wait for those before I did that recording, but that was the next video that I wanted to get, you know, going for you guys instead of another, um, instead of another face mask video or, you know, just another skincare video in general. But... These things happen, don't they? So anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome to Yeah Nah Beauty. I'm your personal little guinea pig. My name is Tanya, and today we're going to do another sheet mask. So if you're into that, stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. I know I didn't tell you just before the intro which face mask we're doing today, but if you read the title, you already know that we're doing the Simple Water Boost 5 minute reset hydrogel mask. So for anybody else who's watched my previous video, I did do another um, face mask from the Simple uh, Company, which is a 15 minute mask. And um, go have a little bit of a watch here. But if you have seen that, you know that I was a little bit concerned about um, some redness that I had and, um, and whether that went away or not, and that I was a little bit intimidated to go ahead and try this one. For those who don't know, I have very dry, sensitive, eczema-prone skin, and <laughs> if something can break me out, make me bleed, make me rash up, it will. So, anyway, these guys claim to be the sensitive skin experts, so you would think that you could stick this on a baby and it would be safe, right? In theory. But... That's not always the case. Sometimes, you know, there's some ingredients in these things that can affect myself or other people. You know, you just never know. So you've got to be very careful. So if you do have sensitive skin, I say this all the time, please do a patch test. I forget to do patch tests. I just, you know, that's why I tell you, I am your personal little guinea pig. But in saying that, my skin might be different to yours. So I really, I implore you, do a patch test if you're really worried about it. Because if you, if you have a reaction, it can take weeks, it can take months even to get your skin back on track. Um, yeah, I've been really, really lucky. I did have a bad reaction to a Neutrogena product a little while ago. I can use other Neutrogena products, but this particular product just didn't work with me. And I should have known better. I should have done a patch test, but alas, I didn't. And I regretted that decision. Uh, you think that I would learn from that, but I haven't. I still forget to do patch tests. But anyway, like I said, we're going to do this one. And it is a five-minute um, Hydrodel mask. I love sheet masks, one of my favourite things ever. I am trying to find the best affordable, be affordable, the best affordable face mask that I can. I really don't like to spend any more than five five dollars Australian on my masks. So let us read this. It's, it's a like I said, a five minute reset hydrogel mask with plant collagen and pentavitin. I'll put that word on the screen, probably. All right. It says it's got no artificial perfume or colour, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin, no alcohol, which is a bonus for me, no added paraben and phthalates, no mineral oils and non-animal derived. It is 100% hydrogel. Okay, and it's claiming to give 40 days of moisture. 
Beautiful. There is one sheet mask in here, and it's typical clean off your face, blah blah blah, slap her on, leave it on for five minutes, and take it off and massage the excess product into your skin using a cotton pad or use a cotton pad to remove. So pretty much same, same, same. All the replenishing power of a sheet mask but just a fraction of the time. You're welcome. Our Water Boost 5 Minute Reset Hydrogel Mask is here to give you the burst of intense hydration in only 5 minutes to leave your skin feeling instantly soft, smooth and looking dewy fresh. Mmm, alright. So you know what? Without further ado, let's get this on. Oh yeah, one more thing. This guy's made in Korea, and from what I've heard, Korean skincare is the bomb. So, let's get started. By the way, if I look like a wreck, it's because this makeup has been on for, oof, eight hours now. Um, except for the lippy, I just slapped that on. I had a different one on earlier, and I'm trialing this one. This one, if you're wondering, is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Wolfie. And I've never used a ColourPop um, uh, lip gloss or ultra glossy lip, and... Um, I gotta say, I love the colour, but she's messy. Like, I put it on and I started setting a few things up. I didn't even realise that I touched my face. Next minute, I had Wolfie right here. So, um, if it looks a little bit odd, it's because she slips, she slides. So, um, love the colour. Don't know about the formula yet, so, hmm. Anyway, enough gas bagging. Let's get this mask on. Alright, now that the makeup is completely off with a double cleanse and my eyes are successfully burning from the new product that I'm trying, let's go ahead and get this mask on. Ah, yes, I love the burn. Can you see the red in my eyes? So guys, generally my face is quite red after I do a clean. Even if I do a really gentle clean, which I do use a... Um, a makeup cleaning oil which I find is the best thing but because I like to do a double cleanse um, I'm trying out a different uh, cream cleanser as my second in um, because I didn't want to use um, I wanted to use something very very gentle uh, kind of really basic ingredients because I didn't want anything to really react with this mask well that was the hope anyway so there's a lot of bits in here I'm not actually there's a lot of bits. Oh, this slimy. All right, so let's let's pull all of this out and figure out what is going on. Ooh, it's a jelly mask. Okay, all right. Oh, this is good. Ooh, is that two pieces? Oh, I know I'm being dramatic, guys, but oh, okay. All right, this is definitely different to what I'm used to. Um, help. All right. Ooh, 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 oh, okay. Yeah, I'm used to a one-piece mask. What the? What if? What fell? I think there's a a nose flap. Okay, all right, I'm losing it. What's this? This is the mouth. All right, let's get this on. This is surreal. This is this is weird, guys. Is that the mouth? I think so. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. Calm down. This is the weirdest mask I've put on so far. Let me get this. Oh, but it's, I'm, I'm liking that it's um, pretty much just gluing itself to my skin. Uh, okay, nose flat. All right. Let's get this other bit. It, it feels like it's going to slide off my face, guys. I'm not going to lie. Maybe that's why we only leave it on for five minutes. All right. Come here, superhero mask section. Oh, I'm scared. All right. Oh, over the eyes. Don't get in my eyeballs, they already hurt. Just get my mirror. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, alright. This is not going to work too well. It's not as high up as I want it to be. Yeah. Alright. On the difficulty level, guys, this is all over the place. Uh, okay. Alright. This is weird. I don't know if, if I'm loving it yet, if I can get past that yet. I'm sorry, I've got to use my nails. Yep, I just poked a hole in it. All right, get off my nose, I don't like you. Now, there's a, there's a little flap here that goes over the nose that it's really annoying. I'm going to have to. All right, get... What the... <sighs> All right, that's on as bad as good as I'm going to get it. And there's this other little bit, like this is the two pieces you just saw, but then there's this other little sliver. 
what the hell do I do with that? There's al it's already overlapping my nose. Where does this go? There's no room left on my face for this little... Can you see that little bit? The oh, you're not again. Yeah, anyway. There is literally nowhere else I can slap this. I don't know what this is for. Can't be for my nose because... I have excess hanging off my nose. Like, I could... Sniff it. <laughs> Probably not a good idea, guys. Alright, um... Well, there's nowhere I can put this. So I'm just going to put that back. And I guess we wait five minutes, but guys, I can tell you already, I'm not a fan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide that back, the nose flap. Whew, okay. First impressions, guys, is not great. Um, the ease of use is terrible. I, I hate this two-piece thingy with this hydrogel. The hydrogel feels nice on the skin. Don't get me wrong. It feels fantastic. Um... But it does feel like it's slipping, it was difficult to put on, um, it feels like it's slowly sliding off my face. It's not something that I would, um, if I had other masks I'd use them first. Now, in, in saying that, um, it feels wonderful. I feel like it's doing something. I hope it's doing something. I hope it's doing something good and not something bad. Yeah, feels feels good. It's annoying. Um, but feels nice. And I can't see any reddening yet, except for the reddening that was already there when I double cleansed my face. So yeah, um, let's just gas bag anyway. Oh, I've got, I've got juice everywhere. Um, just be careful of that, guys. This is a very, very moist mask. Um... It's lots of little plastic annoying bits as well. So um, I, I really do plan on very soon uh, doing the lipstick um, swatching video for you guys. But I really do want to wait for that Jeffree Star lipstick, those two Jeffree Star lipsticks to arrive. Um, once they do, then I will get that video up for you as fast as I can. And that will mean that I will have um, oh, six liquid lips from different brands. Like I've, got, I've got more than six liquid lips, but I'll have six different brands of liquid lips, which means that I can start my new series, um, which I'm really excited about, which will be a um, makeup versus food series or a liquid lip versus food series. So I'm really excited about that. This is slipping as I'm talking to you guys. So um, very frustrating, very uncomfortable, not a great review to start off with, I know, but hey, you know what? If the product works, there is a place for it. It'd just be one of those masks where I would chuck on and just kick back and listen to music or something like that. Um, but I am a very on-the-go kind of person. I do like to talk, I like to do things, clean house, you know, whatever. And um, I don't like my masks slipping. Um, I do have a lot of other mask uh, videos if you guys are interested. Uh, I'll leave a link up here. Um, but I am on the hunt, as I just said before, to find uh, the... I guess best affordable um, mask that I can find and um, I've, I've tried quite a few now but I'm really interested to know if you guys have tried anything that is your ride or die mask that's affordable as well so um, go ahead drop me a line down below and um, yeah let's have a chat about it so I'd be really excited to do that. Do you know what I like about this mask? I can see through it so I can see whether or not I'm reacting or not whereas the sheet masks that I'm used to trying it's sort of like you're, you might start feeling a warming or a cold sensation and you're like, mmm, it's doing something, but is it doing something good? But I can actually see that this one is not, um, this one's not affecting me in a negative way, at least not while it's on. Um, and I do like that, but she's slipping. Uh, it's not comfortable, like the slipping. The, the, it feels great on the skin, but the mm, gravity's taking over and... No. Um, well, well, look at that. It's time to take her off. So let's get this bad boy off, thankfully. All right, I'm going to take this bottom bit off first because this one is really annoying me. Uh, <laughs> okay, that felt weird. <laughs> uh, I feel like the blob. You guys ever seen that movie? That uh, When was that made? Was that in the 60s? 70s? Shame, shame, shame. Oh, that is weird. 
Yes. And then just gently rub that in. I'm a little bit pink, but like I said before, I'm pretty sure that majority of that is due to the um, cleansing that I did before. Maybe a tiny bit of it is because of this, but it's not something that I would be panicking about when I was using a face mask. Feels nice. I forgot to mention, I that didn't smell anything. No, there's not really a smell. I mean, there's a slight something, but it's unrecognisable, so that's a bonus. There's a, did it say that it didn't have any scent? Because I don't recall reading that. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, I can't really smell anything on it, so um, that's a bonus. And my skin really does feel nice. I'm already going to tell you that it is definitely not my number one favourite um, face mask purely because of the fact that it's slipping off the face. I do like, however, the fact that it is see-through. Um, I do love the way that it makes my skin feel while I'm wearing it. And even now, like, I feel like my face has had a drink of water and uh, it could definitely use a lot more moisture. So um, I'm loving that. And um, yeah, other than that, I don't think she's bad. I mean, if you... What would have made this perfect is it's a five minute mask. Now you go, you think to yourself, five minutes, convenient, great, I can slap this on, you know, take it off, put makeup on, rush to work, or I can, I can do like a quick boost of moisturization for my skin in five minutes. You think convenience, right? But then you take it out of the packet and you're like two, three bits, get it on the face, sliding everywhere. That's not convenient. This could have been the bomb. This could have been everything. Affordable, five minute mask, easy to use, great result. Like, it had potential. I'm really disappointed that, it, that the application is so annoying um, and, you know, that she slips off the face. I know it's a hydrogel mask. I know that the probability is going, I get that. But it's just, it could have been so much better, you know. Um, I think... I think it would have been better if it was just one whole gel mask. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it probably still would have slid, but there was multiple flappy bits everywhere and it was very difficult to re-sort of put it up when she was slipping. If it was one piece, it would have been easier just to, you know, really slack it back on, whereas the two pieces... And, you know. Anyway, you guys saw. Um, I'm not going to chew your ear off anymore. I, um, I don't hate this, but... Uh, I wouldn't go out and go like, yeah, you're my ride or die mask, I'm going to go out and buy it. I look, if I saw it on special and it was the only one that was on special, um, I'd buy it, right? It's five minutes. Um, I love that. But if there was others there, even if it was a 15 minute one and it was the same price, I probably would have purchased the 15 minute one over this five minute one just because this is really awkward to put on and... Um, I don't like that. So, anyway, um, if you guys want to see more from my channel and you're not currently subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. But uh, don't forget to check the bell if you want to be notified of every single video that I do. Anyway, guys, if you um, want to catch me on any other social medias, I predominantly use... Instagram and obviously YouTube um, are my main ones that I like to focus on, but I also do upload my links to my videos and everything like that on Facebook and Twitter, so here are my socials somewhere here for you guys to go and have a look at if you're interested, and um, leave me a comment down below, I love talking to you guys, you know, I really love doing that, go ahead, if you feel free, give me a like, I really appreciate that, or if you didn't like this video, give me a dislike as well, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed making this video with you guys, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!